Today we're going to take a serious look at laughter. Now I know as a Christian we shouldn't be laughing with the millions who are dying in sin, the coming tribulation, the price of gas, and the inadequate church parking problem. But we were made to laugh. It's the way we were wired. And laughter is also very contagious. In fact, let's do a clinical test right now. I want you to listen to this and I'm going to look for your response. Ready? <laughs> now I saw that smirk. Now you were able to stifle the laughter because you're a Christian. But some of you fled in terror over this ungodly act. But where did we get our ability to laugh? I think it's a gift. We're made in the image of God. Now I know nowhere in the New Testament does it say that Jesus laughed. But I can't imagine him spending three years with that group of twelve and always being serious. Now fortunately, in the Old Testament, it does say that God the Father laughs. And in Psalm 37, 13, it says, But the Lord laughs at the wicked. And in Psalm 2 and 4, The one enthroned in heaven laughs. So I think laughter is godly. He likes it. And laughter also seems to have other benefits. It's fun, it's relaxing, lifts our mood, brings people together. It might even lower your blood pressure and have other health benefits. In, in Proverbs 17 and 22, it says, A cheerful heart is good medicine. But I never realized that laughter is a spiritual weapon until Steve Backlund from the Bethel Church in Redding, California came to our church and explained it to us. And the way he taught us was this. When you can laugh at a threatening or disturbing or anxiety-provoking thought, it loses its power over you. When you're not afraid, it just becomes insignificant. So how do we use that? Now we know that Satan likes to frighten and disturb us by inserting disturbing thoughts and faith-sucking lies into our mind. Because if he can control our thoughts, he can then control our behavior. So the next time you get an incoming disturbing thought or a faith-sucking lie, laugh. Because when you laugh at it, it loses its power. It just becomes like an incoming missile that drops at your feet, harmless. And to live a transformed life, you need to learn how to laugh at Satan's lies. Now, let's do some practice. I'm going to read to you some very common lies that many of you believe, and let's see how you respond. Here we go. God can never use me. I can't hear the voice of God. And your response is... <laughs> No one likes me. I'm a failure. <laughs> Things will never change. <laughs> now, this may need some practice so you don't return to your old ways. So you may have to watch this video many times. So the next time you get a disturbing thought or a faith-sucking lie, <laughs> And then ask God, what is the truth? And review His promises to you. So now I want to hear from you. What lies do you need to start laughing at? Just leave your comments in the box below. And if this is your first visit here, then you need to get my free self-assessment guide. And to do that, just subscribe to my weekly email newsletter by filling out the form right there. And I'll talk to you again next week, and go have some laughs. laughs.